Sweetwater first graders sent their science lab earthworms to live in Mrs. Flynn's garden. They seemed a little confused and sleepy at first. But after a few minutes, they realized it was time to crawl and explore their new home. These earthworms came from Mrs. Evans's class. This section of the garden is very shady and cool. The soil was really dry and it seemed like maybe they needed some water. So I gave them a little shower. I'm not real sure whether they liked it or not. These earthworms came from Mrs. Caney's class. The sun was shining very brightly on this part of the garden. One of these worms seems agitated. I wonder why. They don't move very fast, do they? This worm discovered some shade under a cabbage leaf. I wonder if the sunlight bothers them. Looks like the shade under the cabbage leaf might be a popular place to go. These two worms are moving pretty fast, for worms that is. Wherever they're going, it's in different directions. This worm seems to have a plan. It seems like it's trying to reach the shade, but I keep moving it.
Can earthworms see? How does it know where the shade is? Just so you know, it finally did make it under the cabbage leaf. There's that squirmy one again. I helped them out and sprinkled a little soil over them. Earthworms are great for the garden. They help to grow the best vegetables. Thanks, first graders. And thank you, earthworms. <laughs>